right. I'm Urs Kasser, I'm the Executive Director of the Berkman Klein Center for Internet and Society at Harvard University. Uh, I'm delighted to learn about the um, Global Youth Diplomatic Forum and the topic of this year. I would like to congratulate the organizers as well as the participants to take on this important question how uh, artificial intelligence is changing the world, uh, what uh, opportunities come with it, but also what challenges. And I think uh, it's a topic for a very rich issues. So thank you. Hi, I'm DJ Patel. I'm the former chief data scientist of the United States. And one of the most important things that's out there is getting our young people like you out there working on real tangible problems. My biggest ask of you is work on a problem that you are going to see have a material impact to somebody's life in a town or surrounding area that you know of. I'm Kei Yu Jin. I am a professor at London School of Economics and I'm from Beijing, China. Um, I want to say that we are entering a very exciting era where we, um, the next generation, you, the young people, really pursue your passion and your dreams because uh, we have now more opportunities than ever to uh, create uh, new things, to embrace entrepreneurialism, and um, the best thing is to be persistent and pursue whatever your dream takes you. Hello, my name is Catherine Parsons and I am one of the founders and CEO of technology education company Decoded. Um, a huge congratulations to all the students at the forum. Uh, you worked incredibly hard. Um, you're surrounded by your peers, your contemporaries, and I'm sure that you're going to go on to do incredible things together as a group. Congratulations. Um, my name is Hiroshi Shiguro. I'm from uh, Osaka University, Japan. Um, well, I'm developing the, uh, many kind of robots. In the near future, we're going to have a robot society. I hope we work together in the near future. Um, in the robotics area, so please study very hard. My name is Lawrence Kimball Cook, and I'm the founder and CEO of PaveGen. So we make floors that generate energy from your footsteps. So when you walk on our tile, it creates power that can light up cities and power part of cities themselves. So uh, as, a, as a student, I came up with the idea. Um, seven years on, we have a company now that is in 40 different markets around the world. Uh, that has um, you know, 200 projects in the ground um, and from the White House to London Heathrow uh, through to in, in Seoul Forest where we've installed it today. So we've shown that an idea, that a university idea has the potential to really change the world and that's what my journey's been. Um, I think it's been incredible to be involved in the forum here today in Seoul and I, I guess wishing you guys luck for the Youth Forum that is on soon. Yeah, uh, good luck to everyone at the Youth Forum on the 27th. Hope it's really, really successful. Hope everyone looks at it with open eyes, with big ideas, and looking towards the future, which I think it's never been faster uh, to change the industry, and it's never been easier for people to come up with their own ideas and actually change the world. So I hope everyone can look at that, be inspired, and, and go and you know, try and change the world themselves. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function.
인류는 4차 산업혁명으로 이제 문명의 새로운 전환기를 맞고 있습니다. 사람들은 때와 장소를 가리지 않고 뜻하는 대로 연결된 세상에서 살아가고 기술은 기계와 인간의 신경망을 따라 순환하며 일상생활은 물론 업무 환경, 여가생활, 도시의 모습까지 변화시키고 있습니다. 또한 그 변화는 우리의 상상을 뛰어넘고 있습니다. 그리고 우리 사회 곳곳에서는 새로운 패러다임을 요구하고 있고 4차 산업혁명은 이제 선택이 아니라 필수가 됐습니다. 더 이상 미래의 상상이 아니라 눈앞에 다가온 현실입니다.